Hello writer and welcome back to my life. It's Writer Wednesday, the day where I give you my tips and advice on the art and the business of writing and tell you how I do what I do as an indie author. As always, this video and every video on my channel are supported by my patrons on Patreon and I'd love it if you'd check out that link somewhere around this area. Today we do not have a question of the week, I am instead going to talk about being prolific and being consistent. Writers, especially when they're first starting out and especially when they're indies, are often plagued by the dilemma, how fast should they try to write? Now if you know anything about me, you know that my first answer is First, write as well as you can, then teach yourself how to write really, really well faster. If you're a Writer Wednesday viewer, I know I probably don't have to stress it for you that much, but I am going to stress it again in case someone's watching this who isn't already familiar with me and the way we do things around here. What we're talking about here is business advice, and so much business advice out there, especially in the in the author space, is given on the assumed basis that you, the author, are already going to try to write the best book you possibly can, and that you're going to make every reasonable effort to give your reader a professional reading experience. But that assumption is is not always accurate, shall we say. I've met or interacted with many of the big names in indie publishing and they give great business advice that is always based on the foundational idea that the author knows their business when it comes to writing and that they will put their best effort into their book. Unfortunately, that's not always the case. There's a lot of authors out there who don't respect the craft and don't respect their readers and they turn out schlock books. And what's worse, sometimes they're really, really successful anyways because there's a lot of marketing advice out there that will work, at least in the short term, even with an awful product. That might not last, that might not help you build a long-term career with legitimate readers who actually care about you and are invested in your success, but boy, it sure is a good way to make a quick buck and maybe appear in a few more BookBub newsletters than you really ought to be appearing in. Which is why, as I've seen the way this industry has evolved in the last few years, I've tried to craft all my broad public business advice in such a way that it literally will not work if you aren't doing your best to write a good book. And that's the case with what we're talking about today on the matter of of how fast you should write. Because the answer is, if you're not writing the best possible book you can, it doesn't matter how fast you write because no one will care and you'll never have a fulfilling career. So write good books, then teach yourself how to write good books faster. But okay, let's say you've worked on your craft as much as you can, you've written your first or maybe your first few books, you're starting to publish, the question remains, how fast should you try to produce them? And far more importantly, how fast should you release them? Because that's what we're really talking about. How fast you produce content is not, in the final analysis, as important to your career as how fast you make that content available for your audience to consume and then pay for. However, the two questions are very closely linked because the answer of how fast you should release content is just slightly slower than you are able to produce it. No matter how fast or how slow you are able to write, you should release your work ever so slightly slower than that. That might sound too obvious to be mm. useful. Obviously, you can't release your work faster than you have to produce it, so you have to release it slower. Right? Well, almost. What a lot of people will do is release content as fast as they're able to produce it. In other words, if they can write a book every two months, they release a book every two months. If it takes them three months, they release every three months. If it takes them three weeks, they release every three weeks. I think you get the idea. And this can be a mistake, because if anything comes in and interferes with your schedule, that affects your relationship with your audience. One of the best things you can possibly promise your audience is consistency. Consistency is way, way better than and speed. If you can release a book every three months consistently, that's better than someone who releases a book in one month, then four months, then one month again, even though they're releasing a book an average of every two months. So one of your early priorities in your author career should be figuring out how long it takes you to write a book, give yourself a little bit of buffer time, and then plan out your releases so that they're coming out slower than you're producing your work. What you want to be doing is slowly building up a backlog of work that's ready for for release but which you're holding on to and drip feeding to your readers. This gives you a tremendous amount of power as a writer and as a person. As a writer you're able to experiment with different release times and see what works best. And also every time you publish a book you know about it well in advance and you can plan your marketing accordingly rather than throwing it all together at the last minute, he said from no personal experience. And as a person it just removes a whole whole lot of stress from your shoulders. Having a backlog of completed work ready to release in the future removes the panic need 
to write more words now, now, now. Stress is just bad. And the stress of having to produce the next thing can lead you to compromise on your quality, which again, you never want to do. Now, I'd be dishonest if I didn't admit that this advice is slightly do what I say, not what I do. I have not had the most consistent release schedule in the world. The gaps between my books have gone four months, six months, four months, two months, four months, two months, two months, and 12 months. However, I'm still able to speak from experience on this because the best and most successful and least stressful time period of my author career was that one section where I released three books in a row with only a two month gap in between each one. That brief period of consistency was great for me, it was great for readers, and frankly, it was great for my bank account. In fact, my major goal as an author and a publisher right now is to work towards a consistent release schedule again. We've done it for the Chronicles of Underrealm starting in March, and though it's been very hard to maintain that consistent schedule, we've done it, and we haven't missed a single weekly release. Now we're gonna get to that point with the books as well. Not just my books, but all the Underrealm novels Legacy is going to be publishing going forward. We're reinspecting and revising our planned release schedule so that it accurately reflects our production time, and is slightly slower than that production time. Because we want to have a small but ever-increasing library of books ready for release. And then we want to decrease that production time so they can come out faster. That's how you get happy readers, and that's how you ditch, frankly, incredible amounts of stress as an author. And that's all I've got for you today, writer. Thanks again to my patrons on Patreon for supporting this and all my other videos. Do check out the Patreon link somewhere in this area. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next Wednesday. Bye!